I don't <laughs> care what you say right now, okay? Do little and know them, trying to break through, and here you are telling me that I should just wipe them from existence. Yo, no, that won't work! They come back, and you just get more mad! Okay, then. Don't wipe them out. Just let them free. Let them... Let them loose onto the world. Let, let them do the heavy lifting. Hmm? You are... I am not going to unleash eldritch horrors upon my world. It's not about if, it's about when you do, my friend. I am not a monster. I am not a... I am not a dungeon master. <laughs> to just release the monsters upon the world. <sighs> I am its guardian, its protector, its caretaker, not its destroyer. Oh, but you can. Isn't it boring to be the protector, the good guy? You know, sometimes you gotta shake things up a bit. <sighs> it's not the first time you haven't shaken things up before in your lifetime. Dare bring Puppet into this! <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I won't. You just bring something else into this world. I'm thinking Cthulhu, maybe, or. You know what? Why don't you go hang out with him? Oh, but it's so much more fun to hang out with you. Send this Eldritch being to the god of Eldritch beings, Cthulhu! Fine, I'll leave. But just for a little bit. I'll be back later. God! Ah! This Scott got on above this thing's annoying! I don't know how much I can take of this guy. He's driving me insane. Maybe that's his goal. Maybe he's trying to drive me insane. I need someone to talk to other than him, but... What do I contact? Do I contact? No. My kids are have enough to deal with as it is. They have enough to deal with. I can't involve them in this. They'll try to help me and I can't involve them right now. Uh, puppets in another dimension now. Oh, I know. I'll call them. They will, know, they will be able to help me out with my situation. At least talk to me about it. Roger, bring me the one that is fun. Bring me the one that is dumb. Bring me the fun time for ready. Whoa. The mighty bush, you've called upon me! What do you request of me? Behind you. Huh? <laughs> Am I really that scary looking? Why do you keep doing that to me? I'm not trying to at this point, you just get scared of everything! You are a monster! Why do you keep jump scaring me? <sighs> Fun time. What? Yes, Golden Freddy, that's my name. You got us. You gotta help me with something. <gasps> the oh, the god needs my help from a mere mortal like me. Not a god. I accept your quest. Just a guardian. And two. How do you deal with it? Deal with gods? Well, sometimes it's good to get a god killer weapon, like a sword or a spear. No! Or no. you just get another god to kill another god. No, no, and kind of disturbing. You're looking into ways to kill me. What? No! I would never. Stop the cap. Anyway, how do you deal with loneliness? That's the feeling uh, of being alone and, and the influence lonely. of others trying to tell you what to do. Hmm. Well, loneliness and I are... No stranger. It's kind of funny if you think about it. Loneliness is one of your bestest friends if you think about it. Yet they're also the worst friend to have. Because 
for the lonely. What? Anyways, my point is, is that loneliness can sometimes become a way to, how should I say it? Uh, to reflect and discover oneself once again. I've been alone for tw about 20 or so years. When my oh. son moved out, I was alone for a long time without talking to many people. That's right. And then there was the whole puppet situation. And then now she's back, but now she's gone. Mm. That is a very tough loneliness, Golden Freddy. Let's see. Mm. Do, do, do not despair. See, Golden Freddy, like I told you before, you're never truly alone. You've got your family and your friends. I'm not booking got... Freddy. Well, why, why not? What, what? He's your y son. Yes, he just got over dying. He needs time to rest right. and recuperate, and he also deal had to deal with your situation. Well, what's wrong with with you? You're just lonely, so just go hang out with him. There's something more wrong with me. That's for sure. What? N nothing. Nothing. You know what? I need someone else to speak to. I think I've spoken to you enough. But I haven't gotten to the good part yet. Bippity boppity bippity bee. Same Wait. home. What no. again? Ah. Who else can I talk to? I can always call it my old friend Spring Bonnie, but no, there's something. He's been feeling on edge lately. Plus, he's happy. He got a, he got his wife. He's got his sons. He's actually happy. I shouldn't disturb him with this. Speaking of his son, though, he has a pretty smart boy. Let me call him up. Bring me the one that is tall. The one that is sort of strong. The one who holds a grudge against the gator. The one who's in love with a clown. Bring me the Glamrock Bonnie. Hey, um, uh, I was already here. Oh, what what brought you what was the part that brought you in? Uh just you know, the sun part of Spring Bonnie, the sort of tall, sort of strong. And then uh yeah, everything else, that wasn't necessary, but you know, it's okay, it's fine. I it's... mean I weren't lying, you hold a grudge against the against the gator, you simp for a clown. Hey, 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 hey. I don't it's not simping if she's my girl already. I'm still simp. Whatever. You just angry because your wife is gone. How does everyone know that? And plus, we were never married. News anymore. It's kind of been headline news, like news. And most we were just like dating, I guess. Yeah, but you guys had a child, so I mean, pretty big deal. Anyways, why did you call me of all people? To this place. I literally offer no magical assistance it's or not, some it's, higher mental capacity. It's not. It's not. I'm at. I didn't call you here for magic or help or anything Did of that sort. You mean open a jar of pickles or something? Are you, are you getting too old? It like what's going on? Oh no! I'm so strong as ever. I can lift this whole jar with one hand. Okay, fair. So what, what do you need me to do? Because sometimes my dad calls me over to help him read something because he can't read the small letters. Is, is that what you need me to do? No, and I told him since we were young that he needs glasses. Yeah, he refuses. And, and then not only that, he is a... Somehow he was still a good sharpshooter back in the army, which is, I'm so confused about. Maybe the lens acted like uh, glasses. Maybe. Then again, there was that one Olympic guy... Who didn't even use any glasses? Have you seen him? The guy with the pockets in his hand and held it like really pretty cool. Anyway, the reason I'm calling you here is because you're kind of an expert in one subject. Uh, okay. What? Weightlifting? Cardio? How, how? How do you feel? How do you deal with the sense of loneliness? With the sense of oh. feeling alone in the world? Like you have oh, no one in your corner. 
Wow. Okay. Wow, we're really going deep. Okay. Um. Hmm. Especially after, you know, you felt like you lost your only friend, which was, at the time, Glitchtrap. I know you were friends with my f with my son, uh, Glamrock Freddy, but at the same time, you know, Glitchtrap was like one of your closest friends. He was kind of like the replacement father figure when. You and we're still ah, I wouldn't say father figure. Maybe more like a brother. He he's. I never looked up to him like a father. I'll just say that right now. Um, loneliness. Wow. Okay. Um, are are you okay? First of all, like. Not. I'm not ready to talk about that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um. Well. Let's see. After Glitchap, you know, sacrificed himself. Pretty heroically, I must say. I thought you murdered him. <laughs> Sacrifice, murder, it's semantics. Um, kind of had to be done, so he kind of, in a way, he sacrificed himself for me to. The way I heard him yell into the void didn't sound like okay. a sacrifice. He, he gave his life up to stop something evil from happening. Let's just say that. Um. Moving on from all that, you know, after Glitchtrap was gone, um, yeah, I was pretty lonely. You know, he was, you know, pretty much my partner in crime. The, never expected uh, someone so idiotic, yet so smart, to leave an impression on me. And, you know, once uh, that happened, that's when I found my dad and, you know, that whole situation... I ran away and never wanted to look back at him, and now we're closer than ever. Loneliness has a, a funny way of sometimes bringing you closer to others. Sometimes you just have to open up and sometimes forgive or change, you know, yourself. So, you know, if you're feeling lonely, maybe you've got to change. I don't know. Try something new. Uh... Or, I don't know. Go somewhere old. Go somewhere where let me feel comfortable. I guess old? Uh, but probably the more comfortable place. You know, a, a safe haven of sorts. You know, somewhere where you could escape for a little while and then potentially come back with an answer. You know, you'll still be lonely there, but at least you'll be, in a sense not totally alone you know you have your thoughts and a place where you feel comfortable at least but you know you you gotta then think about where that place is obviously you know it probably might take a while to figure that out um so yeah i get you though i get you yeah i think i thank you i didn't know where i need to go Oh, you, you already know where you're gonna go? That's kind of fast. An idea at the least, but as a thank you, I'll grant you one wish. One wish? Oh, anything okay. You, uh, anything you want, I'll grant it. Oh, man. Uh, ooh, man, I've always wished to have two Circus Baby body pillows, but... Granted! Wait, wait, what? No! What? Did it already happen? Yep, you got your wish. Are you serious? I I was just You said I, I wish just, and then you asked for it. I was thinking out uh I hate this switch rules and concept. You, uh, said, you said I wish. I I know I realize it. I forgot how specific wish giving can be. Okay, I was thinking out loud and I didn't realize can, can you at least send me home? Oh, yeah, sure. That one's on the house, so... Send the rabbit home! Send the bunny home! Send them back to the trailer park! Wait, 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 no! Oh, wait, the trailer, he doesn't live there anymore, does he? Yeah, I'm sure he can walk. What's well, about 20 miles of walking will do? Anyway... I think I know where I would need to go. I think I know where I need to go to... Rest and... Relax and figure out what I need to do. This place has been my home for the last hundred or so years, but I think I need to go back to my birthplace. I need to go home. Place has 
changed. 